um, I'm Camilla. I was a volunteer, I, I still am a volunteer for ARCOS. It's been a year. It's my last day today. Um, I am a development economist and try to use the year to get exposed to uh, the culture of a developing country, the economy, to see how everything is working. Um, I mainly worked with the community development um, department, so we often went to the field, visited the communities, but also um, the communications department, so very diverse. I think mainly a lot about the culture, obviously, but for me, I realized there is a lot of connections for everyday life or any any occupation with the nature. So I think before before I came here, I saw economics as a, or developing economics as a very separate part, talking about the human, talking about behavior. But working with the communities, you realize, especially here, the nature, the, the agriculture, the climate change has such a big influence on people's lives that it's very important to always think about the nature and conservation and the environment in anything you do. I think the, the work is great. I love the I love the connection that I could try to make between communities and the nature as I said that I found very strong as well now for myself in my life um, and I think you know it's the little things now um, they're working on eco schools to try to teach um, children to be closer to to their surroundings which I love because I think it's something that a lot of people just forget about or talking to communities about um, endogenous trees and about um, uh, medical plants they were using. You know, it's like knowledge like this that would get lost without uh, people like Arcos. And I think, you know, it's often the little, the, the grassroots um, or NGOs or, you know, the little people that actually work on something that is, has the most impact. I like the MBCFs, it's the Nature Based Community Funds, because I think they can be something very sustainable and I think they also try to encourage especially farmers to, um, to, to decide about their own future, to take up a loan, to think about their future, to be more, less pres have less of a present bias but plan and be more future oriented and I think that's very important for a lot of especially farmers here or you know, poor people, um, because I think that's often a problem. You, you live in the now and less in the tomorrow. And yes, I think the MBCFs can change that. Um, I think I get more relaxed about everything, about life, about the future, about making, not about even making plans. I still make plans, but I, I have more of the feeling things will fall in place. Whereas before I think I would have stressed myself very much. Um, that's definitely something I learned from here. Um, enjoy life, L the little things especially, you know, food and good weather and friends and family, um, which I think are very important here, you know, the little connections you have and everything like that. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, I think there's the difference between East Africans and Rwandans, but um, I would say I, yeah, the, the whole thing that I learned as well, like it's more about appreciating life, appreciating family and friends, I think. And uh, I like the we, you know, how in, especially in Western Europe, people are very individualistic, stay alone and closed. And, and here life is, is in a community. And uh, that's how my friends are as well. Like we spend a lot of time together and we go somewhere or it's just having dinner together. And yeah, I really like that. Try to experience everything. Don't be shy, don't be afraid, especially in Kigali. There's nothing to be afraid of, I would say, especially security-wise or anything that people always have in mind when they think about Africa. Um, and yeah, just, I think, jump into it. Like, you know, try to be loose, try to not worry too much, because I think that um, would block you from a lot of great experiences you could have. <laughs> <laughs>